In the previous episode, Hikari suggested a newly opened swimming pool as the spot for Rentero's date with his four girlfriends. Karana went to a swimwear store to pick out a suitable swimsuit for the occasion. She grumbled about Hikari's choice of a swimming pool date, since she didn't have a nice swimsuit for such an event. She had only been to swimming pools with her female friends. She believed cute swimsuits weren't her style. Suddenly, she spotted a cute white lace swimsuit. While hesitant about whether it would suit her, she thought Rintaro might still compliment her. The next day at the swimming pool, they all arrived together. Rintaro waited for his girlfriends, who were changing into their swimsuits. After a short while, they appeared together. Rintaro was in awe of their appearances in their swimsuits. Hakari and Nano looked very attractive in their mature swimsuits, while Shizuka looked adorable in her school swimsuit. Shizuka apologized for embarrassing them, but Rentero reassured her, finding her simple swimsuit charming. Rentero then wondered about Karane, who hadn't shown up yet. Approaching him, Karane was wrapped in a cover-up. Rentero mistakenly thought she was nude underneath. Denying it, she mentioned feeling a bit chilly and wanting some rest. Sensing Karana wasn't feeling well, he suggested she shouldn't force herself. He even proposed cancelling the date and rescheduling when everyone felt better. However, Karana declined, insisting her ailment wasn't that serious. Nano suggested Karana sunbathe to warm up. Karana thanked her, asking Nano not to worry. But Nano defensively remarked they weren't that close for her to be overly concerned. Annoyed by Nano's response, Karana playfully kicked her multiple times. Shizuka admitted her lack of swimming skills and offered to accompany Karana. However, Karana declined, choosing to go alone. They entered the current pool. Shizuka, on a floating tube, spun around carried by the currents, feeling she couldn't go against fate and just went with the flow. Conversely, Nano viewed the pool as a facility designed to train for unexpected disasters. She tried swimming against the current, but Rentaro advised her against it. Hikari then playfully threw herself at Rentaro, claiming the current was too strong. She intentionally pressed her chest against his arm. Rentaro asked her to stop, stating he cherished his girlfriend with pure intentions. Nano, in a bold move, grabbed Rentaro's hand and pressed it against her chest, startling him. She wanted Rentaro to feel her feminine allure, believing her method was more effective. Not to be outdone, Hikari did the same with Rentaro's other hand. A playful argument ensued between Nano and Hikari, each boasting about the respective sizes and shapes of their chests. They asked Rentaro which one he liked more, but Rentaro had a nosebleed and fainted in the swimming pool. His pulse was faint and he wasn't breathing. They pulled him to the poolside and began administering CPR. They continued to argue, each trying to be the one to give Rentaro CPR. Meanwhile, Shizuka continued to drift and was unaware of her location. She realized she had been separated from Rentero and the others. She tried to swim to the edge but couldn't manage it. It dawned on her that she was trapped. Shizuka tried calling for help with her phone multiple times, but no one around noticed. Her float's air leaked out, causing her to drift towards the central area of the current pool. Rentero remained unconscious. Despite Hakari and Nano's efforts with CPR, there was no response, they decided to seek help. Hakari suggested asking a male staff member for assistance. As Hakari and Nano ran past some flirtatious guys, one of them tried to flirt with Hakari. She declined and said she was in a hurry. However, he was captivated by Hakari's ample chest and soft hands. He tried to grab Hakari from behind, but Nano swiftly stopped him. He accused Nano of being aggressive for holding his hand. He then attempted to touch Nano's chest, but she managed to poke his eyes, causing him to fall in pain. Two of his friends stepped in, threatening Hikari and Nano. They demanded that Hikari and Nano entertain them. Nano offered to go with them, urging Hikari to seek help for Rentaro, believing it was the most efficient action. Hikari questioned why Nano would sacrifice herself, especially after she had protected her earlier. Nano didn't want anything to happen to Hikari, as it would upset Rentaro. However, Rentaro would also be distressed if anything happened to Nano. Yet, Nano believed Rentaro would be more devastated if something happened to Hikari, 
given she was his first girlfriend. The two men gave them a choice. Either entertain them or face violence. Hikari firmly refused, declaring they wouldn't entertain the two men. Neno, being Rintero's recent girlfriend, didn't know much about him yet. The lewd man grew furious and approached them, ready to assault Hikari. But just in time, Rintero arrived to shield her. Angrily, Rintero questioned what the man intended to do with both his girlfriends. The man warned Rintero not to intervene, mentioning that the girl had injured his friend's eyes. Hikari then explained that Neno had acted in self-defense when he forcibly grabbed her. Rintero apologized on behalf of Neno for injuring the man's friend's eyes. In return, he offered to entertain them instead. The man demanded that Rintero take away one of the girls who was his girlfriend. Rintero was furious, stating that both girls were his girlfriends. The man didn't believe him and asked Rintero to prove it by kissing them both. The man assumed Rintero wouldn't dare to kiss another girl in front of his girlfriend. However, Rintero declined, finding it inappropriate and refused to do it. Suddenly, Nano pulled Rintero's face and kissed him on the lips, followed by Hakari, who did the same. Observing this, the two men concluded that the younger generation's love antics were indeed strange. Before leaving, they mocked Rintero as a perverted man. Curious, Hakari and Nano wondered how Rintero regained consciousness and found them. It was all thanks to Karana. She had seen Hakari and Nano being harassed by the lewd men. However, Rintaro was not with them. Karana looked around the current pool area and discovered Rintaro unconscious. She tried waking him up, informing him that Hakari and Nano were in danger. Instantly, Rintaro jolted awake. Panicking, he asked about their whereabouts. Without hesitation, Rintaro sprinted to their rescue. He praised Nano for bravely defending them against the lewd man and thanked her for protecting Hakari. Nano did it because she knew Hakari meant a lot to Rintaro. Rintaro pleaded with Nano not to act recklessly again, as he would be devastated if anything happened to her. Realizing Hakari's earlier words about not fully knowing Rintaro were true, Nano agreed. Karana asked Hakari about Shizuka's location. Hakari hadn't seen her since they left the current pool. Panicking, Rentero knew Shizuka couldn't swim, even with a float. He immediately began searching for her. Stranded in the middle of the current pool, Shizuka tried calling for help using her gadget's voice feature. However, the people around her didn't recognize the gadget's sound as a communication attempt. Worse, her gadget's battery died, leaving her in tears. From afar, she heard Rentero's shouts calling her name. She waved her hand, but Rentero didn't notice. Shizuka had to raise her voice, but she was unsure if Rintaro would hear due to her soft voice. Just as Rintaro was about to leave the area to search elsewhere, in desperation, she shouted, I'm here. Her voice was faint, but Rintaro's ears caught the sound wave. He immediately turned and approached her. He was relieved to see Shizuka safe and apologized for leaving her alone. Rintaro carried Shizuka across the current pool. As she was carried, Shizuka looked at Rintaro and kissed him. Rintaro was surprised that Shizuka dared to do it in public. They then joined the others. Nano advised Rintaro to rest. Rintaro invited Karana, who was feeling cold, to rest with him. Rintaro and Karana sat together while the others were busy playing. As they all chatted, Rintaro noticed something. He realized that Karana kept glancing at Hikari and Nano. He sensed her lack of confidence, feeling she was comparing herself to Hakari and Nano. Karana denied it, attributing her behavior to feeling cold. But Rentaro didn't buy her excuse, especially when he saw her order a melon soda float, a drink one wouldn't typically choose when feeling cold. Rentaro tried to comfort Karana, explaining that both Hakari and Nano had matured faster even though they were the same age as him. So for a first-year senior high school student like Karana or Shizuka, it was normal to feel a bit different. He assured her that there was no need to worry. However, Karana felt she was different. She saw herself as small and cute, unlike Hikari. She felt her tall stature wasn't cute and lacked femininity. To reassure Karana, Rintero urged her to stand up, playfully tugging at her robe. When she did, her body perfectly fit the white ruffled swimsuit 
she had bought the previous day. Panicking, Karane slapped Rentero's cheeks several times. Rentero complimented her swimsuit, saying it looked adorable on her. Startled, Karana moved away from Rentero. But he quickly approached and embraced her. Their hearts raced, and Rentero mentioned how their heartbeats sensed, causing them both to feel embarrassed. He tried to reassure Karane that it wasn't about who was better. Everyone had their unique charm, and Karane was certainly captivating. Rentero invited her to rejoin the group. The two then shared a loud, affectionate kiss. As they approached the others, Nano inquired if Karane still felt cold. Hakari complimented Karana's swimsuit, finding it incredibly cute. Blushing from Hikari's praise, Karane felt even more embarrassed when Hikari teased her to show off more. The group continued their pool date, enjoying various activities like taking intimate photos, going down water slides, floating on inflatable tubes, sipping sodas, and many other fun moments at the pool.